Hi, Colin. Hi. I'm Father Lebrun. Nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you. Put her face in the name. Yes. How's it going? Going great. It's beautiful weather down here uh, in Houston. Yeah, so. we love it. I love it out here. How's yeah. everything going? How do you like the new town? I love it. You know, I'm right here in the heart of Houston. So yeah. great places to eat, great places to shop. So I'm very happy. And did you know anybody from the area so far or made any new friends? Well, my boyfriend's here. Oh, sweet. So, yeah. That's amazing. Icing on the cake. And then, <laughs> I bet. So, and then that's fun, kind of weird how we met through the uh, rental relationships. Me and my girlfriend yeah. actually got the same rental apartment that we have through that. Oh, that, okay. And how do you like your new apartment? I love it. I love it. I love the um, uh, the app that I use, the rental relationships. I love mm -hmm. what you posted on there. <laughs> so, I'm all around. I definitely refer them to someone else. Yeah. What did you like about it? I love their service. Mm -hmm. I love that they listened to what was important to me and they didn't try to sell me beyond what was important. Gotcha. They, you know, I filtered through, put some, answered the questions. If there was something they didn't understand, they called and I was like, wow, it's really cool. All right, so, so very, personal yeah. touch. And that's why I love joining it uh, as well. But hey, I know that we don't have a ton of time. You yes. said we have about 15 minutes. Is, still, is that still correct? That's perfect, yes. Awesome. So what I want to do right now is do some listening. And kind of like the rental relationships, I want to, we at State Farm do a little bit different work than other insurance providers. We actually want to get to know you a little bit better so okay. that when I do recommend a plan for you, it's something that you would actually use and would be beneficial for you. Okay. So is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions just to get yes. started? Is it okay if I take off my jacket? Do, yeah, I know okay. it's kind of hot as well. Yes. All right. All right. Go ahead. Listening. Yeah. So when we're talking about auto insurance and this is why we're here today, what is, what would you say is the most important thing for you? I would say that I'm protected. Um, right now I have state minimum and I feel like I'm protected. I mean, I've never been in a car accident before. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, making sure that I'm protected, okay. making sure that if I have a question, I can easily get to the person I need to speak to. I hate 1-800 numbers. I hate clicking one, clicking two, and then having to tell my story several times. Yeah. So I'm just a Let big fan. transfer you here and there. Yeah. I'm just a big fan for personal touch um, and ease. I need it to be easy because I'm always in a rush. <laughs> and then, so besides the insurance policy that you have with your car, do you have any other policies in place right now? No, I just have just liability. My okay. car's old. Yeah. <laughs> is it a family car? It is. I learned how to drive in this car and took it off to school. So uh, it's my baby. Emotional attachment there. Yes. And so... You said you have Geico. Have you ever switched, or how often do you switch your policies with a provider? No, we've. My family has been with Geico for ten years. Mm -hmm. So when I came here to Houston, my dad basically gave me my insurance card, and I'm like, great, another piece of paper. <laughs> um, something else to keep track something of. Something else to keep track of. So um, he handed me my card and was like, hey, if you have any questions, it's a one hundred number. Your bill is due at the end of the month, eighty dollars. Okay. Okay. So with one, I know you talked about the 1-800. How important is it to you that I actually have a relationship with a point of contact that if you have any questions, it's the same consistent person? Is that something that's important to you? Oh, uh, I would love that. Okay. Perfect. And so tell me a little bit more about Geico because I'm kind of curious as to how you and Geico um, decided and what the limits would be for your coverage. You know, I think it's just, um, I don't know if my dad went and sat down and spoke with anyone. Again, we've been with them for 10 years. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of those, okay, she bought the car, let's just give her some general insurance to keep her legal on the legal road. On the road. And that's it. I don't think it was a whole lot of conversation into it. Um, so that's why another reason why I accepted this meeting because for me as a consumer, I want to hold my provider accountable, exactly. but also just want to make sure I'm protected. I mean, I'm an independent woman now, and so I got to think about my future. And so, even though you didn't have to use it, do you, did they at least, or did your father explain to you a little bit about how the process would work if you were no. to use it? Mm -hmm. okay. Let's call the 1-800 number and <laughs> there you go. Yeah, well, it's good that you came here. I like to actually yeah. educate a little bit about the process as well, so that's a good thing. But um, we like, to, at State Farm, we also like to build this wall of protection um, with your assets. So, um, if you don't mind me asking, like, you move in here because of a job? Right. Okay, so what, what kind of job is it? I'm an occupational therapist. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where do you work? You work at a clinic? Uh, the medical center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And how much do you say, what is your salary there? I make 40000 40000 Okay. And do you have any um, other investments or maybe a retirement plan with them? Well, 401k. Okay. And so how much is in that as of right now? 
Well, I haven't started yet. I oh, haven't okay. paid from them yet because I've only been here two weeks. Um, I start on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, but I know they match at 100%. At 100%, sweet. And uh, besides the car, but by the way, how much is that car do you think worth right now? Uh, now that you got a sweet deal from Dad. I got a, sweet, I got a pretty sweet deal. I paid 4000 for it. Mm -hmm. so you say that's how much it would be worth in the market today? Yeah, it's about 12 years old. Okay. Actually, a little older than that. And again, um, just a well rounded picture of what your assets would be. What, how, how much would you say you have an external asset? Maybe something at home, jewelry? Or? In my savings account, I have $11,000. Okay. Um, I'm hoping to use that for my future wedding. Um, Is it coming up? So, well, he hasn't put a ring on it yet. Okay. But that's the goal. That's the goal. Like picket fans, you know, dogs, kids. Yeah, yeah. Kids. The whole um, Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much it um, for now. Okay, perfect. So, um, I also want to know, so like going back to the insurance, what if, if you were responsible, and you said state minimum coverage, which is 25, 50, 25, mm -hmm. I'll explain that a little bit later, but what would happen if you perhaps caused an incident that was worth $200,000? What do you have in place right now to maybe take care of that? All I know is that through liability, the people that I potentially, the car that I damaged, maybe it would be paid for. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, all right down and so going back to like where you work I said do you live far away from work by the way uh, not crazy far I mean I, I drive I drive about 15 minutes park my car and jump on the train oh and jump on the train so what would happen in case a minor incident happened and you have to put the car in the shop um, oh. do you have any other source of transportation for that? so my boyfriend doesn't live close okay. so to get from my home to my parking ride I don't know who I would have because again my boyfriend's coming 30 40 minutes away. So probably have to get like a, a rental or an Uber or something for like sure. that. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So after having this I sort of chat and getting to know you a little bit better, um, and I know you have some exciting things to go for, but correct me if I'm wrong, you're looking for something that it would be you don't want to have to deal with a lot of things. You just want to make sure that you're protected, but that at the same time you have excellent service in case something does happen, you know, one, what the process would be like right. and who the point of contact would be. Is that okay if I assume that? That's perfect. That's awesome. right on point. So when we got off the phone call, I actually ran some numbers, and based on what you told me, we developed a couple of packages and options for you. Okay. But again, after having a conversation with you, I would want to recommend or suggest this premium option. Okay. And it's the premium coverage option package. So, and I want to kind of explain to you what would happen. The, one of the best things that it has is, like you said, it has the utmost protection. Okay. And so, if you were to cause, this is the first part is the, the liability coverage. Are you aware of what that? Uh, yes, is that, that's currently what I have right now, right? Mm -hmm. So what you have right now is more like this basic package, which is a state minimum that it covers for up to $25,000 per person, and per accident will be up to $50,000. Oh. But what happens is that well, most there's two things that people don't usually know when they're getting insurance. And first of all, most people have the misconception that liability is only for medical expenses when there's an accident. Right. But I have a customer named Sharon, and the other day, she got into, she has the premium package, and she got into an accident, minor accident, it was, she crossed an intersection and hit another car, but it was a dad-daughter combo. And like I said, nothing big, but they were both commercial pilots. And one of them had a broken hand, other one got placed on concussion watch. So oh. even though her medical expenses up front weren't that big, she had to, because they don't allow pilots to fly under those conditions, mm -hmm. she had to pay for three months of lost wages for them, and pilots get paid a hefty sum. So, and the other thing that people do not realize is that if you're not able to cover this, you're going to have to pay that out of pocket. And if you don't have enough assets to protect them, not only will it take your assets, but they'll garnish your wages up to 20% for 10, 15 years until you pay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of people, and I know that just to get the car off the road, you meet the requirements, but if something happened and you want to take care of it, then there's a lot of implications that go with it. But again, the other thing that I assume that doesn't include in your in your regular package right now with the state minimum is the comprehensive and collision. So I know that you have a family car and you learn to drive in it. So yes. if any accident were to happen and the car is is meant to be repaired or anything like that, you don't have any protection right now for that car oh. in your own property in that case. The other thing, again, 
but playing on a safe side, you are a very safe driver, and I can say you have an impeccable record, but we're all at the mercy of somebody else's driving. That's true. So what would happen if somebody that doesn't have insurance or doesn't have enough coverage getting in an accident with you, and the most common case that I like to tell people that often happens is a hit and run. Yeah. So if that would happen, and they don't have insurance to cover for your medical, you want to make sure that you at least set a wall to protect your own. Okay. Right? Yeah. Then the other thing we kind of talked about, what if your car was in the shop based to an accident that you caused? How would you get to work? And the cool thing about it, I don't know if you heard about the pocket agent app. No. Okay, let me show you. So this is mine. And what happens is sometimes you get a nail on the road or something like that and you need to send your car to the shop. So what you can do, and you can you can pay your bills here and check your bills. Oh, wow. I wouldn't have to carry that piece of paper? I don't know. <laughs> So I know you're independent, this might be a dual function, but if you want to check uh, a taxi or, or a rental car, you can do that with, with this one. Okay. And with this value package, you get up to 80% of that reimbursed back. Oh, wow, okay. And so, and kind of like the last thing that I want to kind of add on to that is, I know that you don't have renter's insurance right now, and you just move in, and you're probably going to have a lot of valuables in the house and everything like that. So I want to make sure that I protect you on that front as well. Okay. And really because... It gives you an extra discount by having it. It really the only difference would be about a dollar or two to oh. include that in this premium uh, coverage wow. package. Because you know, as you're talking, I've got to be honest. I'm thinking, ching, ching, ching. I'm only paying eighty dollars, and now I'm jumping up an additional twenty-six dollars. So that kind of makes me a little nervous okay. because I'm coming here on a, a fixed income with the goals mm -hmm. of saving and budgeting and all of that. So. It's really hard for me to wrap my mind around an additional 28 when I've never been in a car accident. So. Of course, I, no, and I completely agree with everything that changed. So is, is it just the price, is everything good okay? Is it just the price that concerns you a little yeah, bit? Yeah, everything sounds great. I mean, it, it makes sense. It makes me nervous to know that I'm not covered enough to where if something were to happen, I'd probably you know, be out of pocket. So that makes me scared. Um, but I mean, I'm definitely interested in the things that you've introduced to me. It just really makes me nervous. Is that jump that? Yeah. Okay, so it definitely, and, 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 I, and I can d definitely relate to that, having that switch, especially like coming into a new town and having all these changes, you don't want that big of a hop in. Right. The yeah. one thing that we discussed though is that you will want excellent coverage and make sure that you're protected. And the way that it is set up currently right now through GEICO is that they didn't even revisit how much are your wages or how much are your assets that you want to protect. Mm -hmm. So right now, if you have over $50,000 in assets, but you cannot protect them in case of an accident, that's when you would want to have a more hefty type of insurance in case something like that happens, God forbid. Okay. The other thing is, here's the from we're the number one insurance in the industry or in, in the nation for that matter, and there's a reason beside that. We take great care of our customers and we make sure that you have the consistent point of contact. Okay. And it's not just about your accidents, but we will also want to make sure that we help protect and grow your assets and make sure that you're, in case of an accident, that I'll be the front front representative of you when something like that happens so you don't even have to deal with that sort of stress. Oh, okay. And the one thing that we didn't even discuss is what about some of the discounts? You have an impeccable driving record. So yeah. it not only yeah, it's, no, it's impressive. A lot of people <laughs> at 24 are, are not with the same record. And a few of the things that we can do for you is apply a good student discount or a good sorry, a good driver discount, and also enroll you in the Drive Safe and Safe program, which just kind of measures the way you you drive. Okay. And based on the good driving habits, it gives you an additional discount. Okay. So at the end of the day, what feels like a 28 jump, it might feel like more about less than a dollar a day. And I know that you made the conservative choice to purchase a in, to purchase a, a less expensive car right now, and you're making good financial decisions on how you spend your money. Right. But wouldn't you agree that you will also want to make good decisions in protecting your money as well? That's true. Yeah. So how about this? And and after all, does that help clear out? Yeah, that does. I appreciate that. So why don't we do this? Why don't I we go ahead and, and get you set up? Would you want this to be effective today or maybe at the beginning of the month? Well, I know we keep talking about me being independent, and I am, um, but I want to give my dad a call just to find out from him, are there going to be any penalties on his mm -hmm. behalf for me leaving GEICO, because what if he's getting discounts for okay. having me? Okay. So I just need to talk to him and um, get his blessing, but I think it all sounds great. I like it. I love it, um, and I could definitely sleep better at night knowing that. Definitely. So why don't we do this? I wouldn't want you to walk outside without the proper coverage, but I do respect, I do the same thing with my decisions. 
why don't we get this going for you and then we'll show that you are covered. But I wanted to get your dad in here as well. I'm sorry, you're Awesome. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank so you. Much. Nice